My name's Joshua Doran, and I'm Programs Manager for McLaren Special Operations. MSO is the bespoke customization division of McLaren, so we're really here to amplify the McLaren brand. We work closely with our customers one-on-one -on -one to turn their visions into reality. A key part of what we do is our world-leading paint capability. We offer special liveries such as the Velocity Fade, and our latest iteration of this is the Spectrum, as seen on the 750S, which is world-leading in the industry. This year being the 60th anniversary for McLaren gives us a real opportunity to do something special and we want it to really showcase our paint skills in a way that we've not done before. So we've taken our latest product, the 750S, and created a special livery called the 3759. This livery is a tribute to McLaren winning the Triple Crown. My name is Charlie Brundle and I'm a Senior Colour and Materials Designer at McLaren Automotive. I was really thrilled to be asked to do the design for this project. It's certainly one of the most prestigious ones I've been involved in. The Triple Crown achievement is winning the three top races in the world, the Le Mans 24 Hour, the Indy 500, and the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix. And McLaren is the only team ever to have won all of those, and this is known as the Triple Crown. This is where our project name comes from. The number three from the Indy 500 winning car, number seven, which was Prost's race winning number at Monaco GP, and 59, which refers to the car number from the Le Mans 24 Hour win. The brief for this car was to celebrate the Triple Crown win, but we didn't want a historic livery. We wanted to celebrate these wins and the history of McLaren whilst also looking to the future. So this design is a very modern take on that celebration. As a designer, I love street art and graffiti, and I'm very interested in pop art. For me, it was a great starting point for my design to help it look modern and futuristic. All the base colors were taken from the original cars. Then the paint team have done a lot of work to modernize those colors. My name's Gary Goodman. I'm a paint technician and colorist at MSO. There are all the colours in the world to choose from, but we've been given a colour palette by the design team and then we tweak it to our particular taste. We look at hundreds of swatches and decide that's the colour position that we're looking for, but then we tweak it to make it unique. My name is Gareth Jones. I'm a bespoke paint manufacturing engineer for MSO. This is probably the most complex car we've ever done. We've, we've done a, a heritage car recently that was very complex, but this one's just next level. So with airbrushing, you end up with more control. There's more close detail work you can do with it. You get finer atomization. I, I started many, many, many years ago doing custom motorbike painting. And it's always going back to my roots of what I used to do. So it's really quite cool to be doing it on such a scale now because everything was so small and intricate before and now we're going on to a large scale. Silver and gold leaf gilding has been around for many years, especially used in custom paint. But we decided it's got such a great look, we'd use it in a modern way on the Triple Crown logo and stars. Silver leaf is a really delicate and time consuming process. We use a specialist glue and gently lay the leaf on the design, giving it time to dry, letting it cure and then demasking before lacquering. The effect is subtle but highly bespoke. The paint splashes on the rear of the vehicle we've been developing ideas in the spray booth. We've had panels and we've been throwing paint across them to see what type of effects you can get. But when you actually do that, you end up with too much paint. But we came up with this cool idea of we'll throw them onto paper and get this really realistic splash of paint. But then we'll then scan these uh, splashes, create vector files, and then we're overlaying these onto the panels. So we're getting that true throw pattern, but then being able to control the amount of paint we're putting onto the panel. On this project, we've worked hard to bring elements of the exterior design into the interior. And we've done that in part using techniques such as laser etching on the Alcantara, which is a first for us. Another detail is the intricate engraving on the accelerator pedal. And we've also carefully hand painted the gear shift paddles and the key to bring some of that artistic detail inside the car. From start to finish, this project has been a year in the making, and it shows what MSO is capable of when we unleash the incredibly talented people in our team. We hope it inspires a new wave of creativity for our customers to see McLaren Supercar as a blank canvas. This project really is a work of art.